So these final little hush puppies that I got, these carbon fiber lids, what they're for, this first little one, this first little one is for my 450ml Snow Peak titanium um, mug, single wall mug, so it goes perfectly over the top. This thing's only 7 grams or 0.25 of an ounce of an ounce. So when I've got my uh, cozy, my 450ml Snow Peak titanium mug, and then the lid, all of that is 76 grams, which is tiny. And then the second lid, the bigger one, is for my 650ml titanium pot. It's a 650ml Keith, and it goes on the top like that. It's perfect. So it's only 10 grams or 0.35 of an ounce. So that goes on there, and then in the in the in the cozy. I didn't actually weigh this one. I think the the pot is 80 grams, 10 grams for the lid, and I think the pot cozy is about maybe 20 grams. So all up is about 110 grams for for the bigger mug version. So so this um, 14 inch pole jack extender that I got from uh, Ruto Lacura, um, it it reckons it works with almost all pole jacks or all trekking poles. So it's got a little thing in there with this. I, um, like a little, it catches the tip and it's spring loaded and then it goes like that so it works with the Z-Pax one. What about with a, a Lekey, a Lekey? So here's a Lekey um, pole. Is in there? Yep, works with a, with a Lekey. Tighten that up. What about, I've got a Fizan pole, an aluminium pole. Let's take that off. Yep, fits in there. That works great with that one as well. So that one's a nice lightweight one. Now, the main question, does it work with my favorite Mont Bell? Um, like, with a super ultra light um, aluminium pole? I reckon it's probably not going to. Oh, hang on. So yeah, the tip's gone in. Cool. Hey, look at that. It does go. But it's probably a bit short because this is not adjustable. So yeah, I reckon that's about 60 inches. But that will that'll allow it to uh, alternate to the pitch, you know, with the with um, the edges close to the ground. So because um, there's the 60 inch mark there. So yeah, it's like probably 60, 60 and a half inches. Yeah, that'll be alright. Cool. I hadn't planned it to work with this, with this one, um, but yeah, works good. When I was putting it in before, I wasn't putting it in properly, so when it goes in, it catches the tip, it goes in the hole, and then it slides up that sleeve there, so then it's actually rock solid, so that when you then put it down on the ground, there's very little, there's very little wiggle, so yeah, it's pretty good. So it's very, you know, if it's on the ground, very little wiggle. Actually, it um, on the Z-Pax pole, the carbon fiber pole, it doesn't go in quite as well. So it catches the end, but then the sleeve, that part there is a bit smaller diameter. So there's a lot more wobble on the Z-Pax one, on the Z-Pax pole with this pole jack. But it still works, it still works. And Finally, let's have a look on the lecky one. So, goes in, catches the hole, catch the hole very well. Yep, so there's the hole, it's gone in the hole and then sliding up onto the sleeve. It's, it is a bit of a tighter fit than the um, Z-Pax one. So if we tighten that up like that, I'll extend this one here. Oh man, I really don't like twist locks, but they do have less um, things to catch, like if you're storing them in your pack. So let's try this now. Yeah, it's pretty solid. On the ground. Yeah, I think the one, that's pretty good. I think the best one though is, um, is this uh, Fizan one? So it goes in there, and it's well, it's probably about as good as the Lecky one. Um, and the uh, 
and the Mont Bell one. So it takes a little while for the hole to catch in there. Mm, probably about as good as the z -Pax one. My two carbon fibre lids, my 14 inch pole extender, and my new little four inch extension on my for my z -Pax carbon fibre walking staff is what I got from Ruda Lakura. So I'm pretty happy with all of it. Thank you very much.